Hey to you. I want to welcome you to another episode of How I Animate in Clip Studio Paint. Okay, so today's episode topic is animating on tools versus animating freely. While this will be short, I just want to be able to clarify that there are some times where you have to break the rules of animating on tools. Hit that subscribe button, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so let's get straight into this. And the first topic I want to touch on is animating on twos. Now, I know if you heard a lot of people say they animate on ones and they animate on twos. And then some, uh, some people even animate on threes. I sometimes animate on threes. But animating on ones gives you full control over the character, but takes forever. Animating on twos and threes is good for somebody that needs a little bit more help with animating or does not want to take that much time or like a one-man animation uh, studio. So let me show you the example if you don't know already. Animating on ones would mean animating each and every frame, right? Animating twos would mean one, two, you put your next animation there. That's every two frames. Animating on threes would be one, two, three, you will put your animation here at the four frame. So when it comes to these rigid turns of animating twos and threes and, and ones, they work for certain things. And this is an example of something that animating on twos will work for, or at that rigid structure as a whole. These are 18 drawings, and these are all animated on twos. And I'm basically just keeping pace with the animation, right? But if you want to animate something that draws out emotion, animating on twos may not be what you're looking for. So let's come over to the file that we were working on in the last video. So we're gonna, we're gonna show the animation of animating on twos. Go ahead, play. Oh, let me turn the other one off, okay. So this is animating on twos, and let me turn the uh, light off. All right, this is animating on twos. Not bad, right? But let me show you animating free frames. So it's some twos, some threes, and maybe some, even some fives. This is not about sticking to a structure. This is about communicating what you want your audience to see or feel at the time. So this is the free frame one. As you can see, it's a, it takes a little bit longer for him to open his eyes and just keep them all the way open like he's excited to see this moon. So, twos. It's just straight across, right? Just quick, quick, blink, blink, blink. But free frame gives a little pause in between and these types of things are like um, anticipation, it's the inflection, like as if you were asking a question, but you don't, you're not writing a sentence, so you're not putting a question mark down. So you say it with the, huh? So these are the inflections that come with animates. So as you can see right here, I have one. This is in the free frame one, one, two. So I animated on twos there. One, two, three. Animated on threes there. And that's to keep that pause like, what? And then back to twos on this one. And then back, one, two, three, four. So I went all four frames out to give it another pause. Then close his eyes, blink, blink, blink and then pause with excitement. Hey, I just wanna let you know that there's an option for you guys to send ideas or things that you would like to know more about CSP. Just drop a comment under any one of these videos or you can send me a DM at drawn to animate And to add a little bit of more emotion, you would just drop a animation camera in, right? And if you don't know how to use the animation camera, matter of fact, let me show you how to bring one up. Come up to animation, new animation layer, 2D camera folder, and then that comes in right there, right? And then you drag anything that you want the camera to see, 
and control that view inside of that folder, right? And what you can also do is come up over here on the timeline and start making keyframes as to how you want the camera to show this scene. Okay, so now that we have the animation camera set, let's come over here to this um, add in a keyframe. We click here, add that keyframe, and we're gonna take this. This is the object tool, and we'll just zoom it in on his face, right? And then I'm just gonna mimic what I've done already. And I'm gonna come out, so I'm right here. And then I'll come back to the end and it should be all the way out to this thing that I would so call a moon. That, that's not a moon, but my fat attempt at a moon in a quick sketch. And that's basically it. I just wanted to make sure you guys get a clear understanding just because you're animating on tools and your animation does not mean everything has to be on tools. It's more about getting the point across that you want your audience to feel, see, and understand. So sometimes you're gonna have to break those rules and do free frame animation in order to get your point across. That could mean animating on ones for a couple, a couple scenes or a couple seconds. Could mean animating on fives. So I just wanna make sure you guys understand twos, threes, whatever it is, sometimes you have to break the rules. But that's it. Hope you liked the video. Share this information with those that may need it. And as always, anime life forever. <laughs> <laughs>